hello everyone welcome again to another video today we are looking at life skills and computer literacy level 3 which was a final exam of 2022 if you haven't subscribed to this channel please click subscribe and click the like button and notification so that you get notified every time when i upload another video then now there's a page break as indicated there below the table so meaning that my kesa must blink below the table there it is it's blinking as you see now i'm going to insert a page break so i'm going to go and click layout and then you will see that you have page break there when i click it i can say page so that i break my page then now i'm on page two as i'm scrolling down which is now uh, indicated on the question paper as you see here it says we must insert a picture and make sure that the picture height and width is going to be six dotted border so any picture because it says we must insert any picture right now i'm going to go to the document now again my document there it's waiting for me to insert any picture so so now when you are inserting the picture you can just go to insert there and then click pictures and then when you click pictures it will open a file explorer where you have to choose the picture that you are inserting so any picture that you find in your folders you can just insert because they said any picture so when i click there to insert a picture that i want or maybe you go and look around until you find the picture that you think it's suitable and then immediately when you find it if I click and then click insert then the picture will just come there so meaning that now uh, the instruction as you look it says uh, we have to insert the picture and make sure that the height is two centimeter and the width is six okay so meaning that now when you look at the picture again you have to make sure that the handles are appearing around the picture so I click on the picture there when I click on the picture you see that picture tools comes up there then on the right hand side you have the width and the height so when i put my mouse there it shows you that this is the shape height so the shape the height must be two centimeter so meaning that i can type two there and then the width there must be six then i put six there then now when it's like that that is the right size that they want but we are not done because the border of the picture must be a dotted border so meaning that i have to click on the picture and then make sure that i put a border around it so when you look at picture tools again it may it, it, it ensures that uh, your picture is selected so now you 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 made sure so when you click the picture you made sure that picture tools is there and then you can see format so now on the right hand side a little bit you can see picture border when i click picture border I can go down to choose the type of border that I want so now there are dashes as well so it means that you can go and choose a dotted border around then when I click it there you can make it thick so that it's visible so then we can go to picture border again and then go to change the width of the border so that the border can be visible uh, so that everyone can see that you have changed it to a dotted border so now this is like a dash border so if i go to dash the dashes then i look for more lines type of line so that i can find dots more like dots there so when you have applied it like this then it's visible that you have applied dotted borders there right now when we continue on our question paper we are instructed to add more text just below the picture so when you, you add more text meaning that you look at your question paper and add what is missing so as the question paper is displayed now you can see that we have two columns on the left and on the right where we are going to insert this text so now i'm going to make sure that the case is blinking just below the picture so that we can insert the text here so i'm going to insert the text now then we can continue so 
so before i insert the text before i insert the text meaning that you have to create two columns first on the left and on the right so the easiest way to do it there are two ways to do it either you split the paragraphs to text or you create a page to accommodate two columns for you so the easiest way also to do it is to go to insert and then you can insert two columns of a table like this then we're going to remove the borders later on so what happens now is that i can type the text and then on the left and also on the right and remove the borders after that so let me type the text first right so after typing the text now we need to remove the border around so that it shows that it's two paragraphs i mean it's two columns so i'm going to highlight the first part of the column and make sure that we have the correct bullets i'm going to go to home and then i'm going to make sure that the bullets there i have what has been indicated and then on the right hand side as well i'm going to highlight and make sure that i have the correct bullets as indicated then now we need to remove the border around so i click there then i go to layout and then we need to remove everything around there then i go and say no border when i say no border then you can see that this is two columns when you print it it will be like that two columns as it is right so now after editing the document now the instructions said we must save the document as networking two in our folder so meaning that now i will go and save as and then i will choose that it must save as networking two so i will choose the folder where it must go and then now i will choose i will retype the name there and say networking two and then save so as you see updates indicated networking 2 is the name of the file and then now i can close it because i'm done working with it